Tigers. Today is Thursday, February 16th. My, My name, name is... <laughs> no warning. And I'm Ricky Valenzuela. And this is your Morning Roar. Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We will now observe a moment of silence. Juniors and seniors, Southern Crescent Technical College is hosting a career expo on March 16th. We will have limited space available on this field trip. Please scan the QR code on this flyer to RSVP your spot. This is a great opportunity to learn about the skilled trade opportunities that are available through a technical school. Many of these programs would have paid tuition by using the HOPE Career Grant. DSU is hosting a Black History Attire Week. Today is Black Brand Day, so wear something by a Black-owned company. And Friday is Rep Your Roots. Do a creative hairstyle that represents African heritage. Remember, Tigers, the dress code will still be enforced. Please follow dress code rules and regulations and no offensive or vulgar clothing. Check out this video for the 16th day of Black History Month. Alexander Miles was an African-American inventor of the late 19th century who transcended racial barriers in the United States, creating the modern-day elevator. Miles, born in Duluth, Minnesota, designed an elevator that was able to open and close its own doors and the elevator shaft doors. Miles was a pillar in his community. He, he owned multiple barbershops where he created hair care products for his clients, developed a real estate company, and was part of an insurance company that offered life insurance to African Americans when white-owned insurance companies discriminated against them in their rates. Before Miles invented the electric elevator, elevators were generally powered by steam. Miles invented shaft doors that open and close automatically along with the elevator doors. Before his invention, an elevator conductor had to manually pull the doors closed. If the conductor forgot to do that, or if there was no conductor, the shaft was exposed, creating a safety hazard for passengers in the elevator and people on other floors. If the shaft door was not closed, it would sometimes lead to accidents with people falling down an elevator shaft when they expected to step into the elevator. Miles improved on this mechanism by designing a flexible belt attachment to the elevator cage and drums positioned to indicate if the elevator has reached the floor. The belt allowed for automatic opening and closing when the elevator reached the drums on the respective floors by means of levers and rollers. Miles' invention dramatically improved safety by protecting passengers from the elevator shaft. Alexander Miles was and still is a source of inspiration for the black community. During the time African Americans made up only 2% of inventors, let alone the less than 1% who got a patent for their inventions. Today, less than 10% of the inventors are African American. Alexander Miles was a pioneer and his perseverance and innovative spirit continues to influence inventors to this day. Attention students, are you in need of inspiration or desiring good fellowship? We'll come to a FCA meeting every Thursday from 8 to 8.30 in the course room. We would love to fellowship with you. Attention, your Fayette County varsity baseball team is back in action. Fayette JV hosts Temple High School today at 5.30 p.m. So come out and support your Tigers as they begin a new baseball season. Your Fayette County Tigers have advanced to the 2023 Region Basketball Tournament. The basketball tournament will be held at Whitewater High School on Thursday, the 16th of February and Friday, February 17th. Tickets are available on GoFan. For Thursday, the 16th, the girls varsity team plays Troop at 7 p.m. and the boys play Trinity at 8.30 p.m. These are the semifinals. The last day will be on Friday with the girls consolation game at 4, the girls region championship at 7, the boys play at 5.30 in the region championship, which we plan to be in at 8.30 p.m. A few reminders about Whitewater High School. When you arrive at Whitewater, please park in the far parking lot as center, shown by the circle here, and you'll enter the top level designated here. If you enter through that lot, you'll be right behind our bench, which is where you're gonna sit. Um, our designated fan area is directly behind our bench. Please make sure that you arrive, enter, and go directly to the area behind the Fayette County bench. The boys and girls will share the same bench, so we want all of our fans in the same place to cheer our boys and girls on to victory. 
Remember also that you're representing the Fayette County High School at all times. So all rules that normally apply in our gym will still apply at the region championship. We hope to see you at Whitewater tonight and tomorrow night as we support our Tigers as they seek their second and third consecutive uh, state playoff appearances and the boys their third straight region championship. Let's go Tigers! Congratulations to our senior Tigers who have been accepted to the following colleges and or received a scholarship. Hey Tigers, come support your fellow broadcasting team. Scan this QR code and subscribe to the FCHS Broadcasting YouTube channel. When we hit 500 subscribers, we will give away a number of Chick-fil-A gift cards and social media shout-outs to lucky students. That's all for today, Tigers. We, we hope, hope you have, have a wonderful, wonderful day. day.